Hi guys, it's Mama Sa here from Mama Sa Stories and today I'm going to share a special treat with you. I'm going to read you one of the ebooks that I created with four-year-old children from childcare centres across Brisbane. So I go into the centres and teach them how to draw first term and second term we work on creating story ideas as a group and then we learn how to illustrate our stories and in fourth term we turn them into books. And here's one of these incredibly creative stories written by four-year-olds just like some of you. And if you'd like to buy this book it'll be available next week at mamasarstories.com which is my website of course. And don't forget at the end of this to press like and share to share these incredible children's stories across the world. Here we Go. The Great Zoo Escape. Greenleaf's Early Learning, Albany Creek and Mama Sa presents On a Butterfly. <laughs> and here's Mama Sa reading a book when she comes in to do readings to teach them how a book is created. And this is where we put the children's names that created the book with me. And the story begins. A monkey swings out from the zoo on a tree branch and went over the wall. This is word for word what the children said without any editing. What a great monkey that Dominic drew. The elephant saw him. He wanted to get out too. He jumped up and down really really hard and really really high and crashed on the ground and fell through the door in the bottom of his cage that the keepers used for cleaning the cage. That's the elephant that Josh drew, jumping up and down in his cage in the zoo because he's heard that the monkey had got away. Then monkey stole a birthday cake from the cafeteria. It was caramel and strawberry flavoured with Pink icing, yum! And there's Monkey and the birthday cake. And the birthday cake was drawn by Bonnie and the Monkey was drawn by Amali. The background was drawn by me, Mamisa. The elephant ran through the city and Isabel drew the elephant and Josh drew not only the lion in the background but the snake around Bonnie's cake. And that is them running away to the city. I wonder if they're running to live in the city or if they're just going to go through the city. What do you think? The lion saw the elephant running and the lion bites the bars of its cage with very strong teeth and escapes and runs down the road too. And there is the lion. He stopped to turn to look at the camera. Hello, said the lion. He's like, oh. <laughs> Now all the children chose the animals before we started this story and Asher decided to draw the gecko. The gecko went under the gate and followed the elephant. So he didn't actually live in the zoo. He just lived, you know, on the walls of the zoo and decided to go with them because it looked like an amazing adventure. The cat jumped over the gate and ran into the city and Mackay drew the most beautiful cat. Check out that cat. What a lovely aqua blue with a hot pink tail as he jumped over the gate and escaped the zoo. 
the cockroach, yes, they chose a cockroach, the cockroach and the spider followed them over the gate. That's a Marley for the spider and Josh for the cockroach. Oh my goodness, Josh, what a happy looking cockroach and what a sweet little spider a Marley drew. These children are all such talented artists. You can be talented like that too. I bet you are. Now this is Isabel's frog, which I thought was fantastic because it was hot pink and blue. The frog jump over the cake shop and that is drawn by Isabel. What an amazing picture of a frog. And that's the thing about Mama's art art. If you want to draw a frog that's purple and orange with spikes, and one leg, you can, because it's all about being creative and having fun. It's not about getting things right. Because getting things right, well, you may as well just take a photo with a camera, really. This is about being creative. The gecko then jumped on the elephant's back and bit <coughs> the elephant's tail. <coughs> Said the elephant, and his tail bled a bit. In fact, the children said they bit the elephant's elf. I say elephant, elephant's tail off. <laughs> I tripped over my tongue. I said elephant instead of elephant. I like that word elephant. Maybe it's for a very tall elephant or an elephant that has a phone. The gecko put the elephant's tail back on by magic. Oh, and Josh drew the elephant. And he also drew that gecko. Mama said I drew the blood in the last picture because the children didn't know how to draw blood. Then the gecko went invisible, which I thought was such a fantastic idea. He just decided to go invisible because he was feeling a bit like bad that he'd bitten off the tail. And Aaron drew the invisible gecko and Amelia drew a happy dog in the park and Amali drew a crazy Elephant. Look at that crazy elephant. Silly <coughs> elephant. Well, they were having a bit of a rest in the park, sitting on the park bench because they'd been running and running and they were a bit tired and thirsty. Then the people in the city started running and I said to the children, Where were they running to? Were they scared? And the children said, No, Mama Sarah. They were running towards the animals. And I said, why were they running towards the elephants and the lions? And they said, they were so excited to see them in the city. And so all of the children drew people running towards the elephant. And Mama Sa put them side by side in that picture. And that was Isabel, Bonnie, Aidan, Sophia, Josh, Asher and Amali. All from the fantastic centre run by Jamie, Albany Creek Greenleaves. Wonderful place for your child to go. Very happy and safe. I love it there. They ran to the bush at the edge of the city. The first thing they met was a kangaroo. He's eating his gum leaves. The kangaroo said, hello elephant. And Amali drew the kangaroo and Asher drew the elephant. And of course, Bonnie drew the delicious cake. Oh, and don't forget Amelia, who did the very cute orange snake. Said so the snake, I like this cake. I like wrapping myself around it. So the elephant took the cake off his head and put it on the table. And the snake slithered off to go and get himself a glass of water or something, I think, because he's not in that picture. There you go. And you can see the red, the red sand. So they're out in the Australian desert near the um, Ayers Rock where, you know, the original people, it's sacred now and you can't climb on it anymore. Thank goodness, because lots of people fell off it and got hurt over the years, not all at once. The elephant and the kangaroo started to dance. 
and Isabel drew the kangaroo and Aaron drew the elephant. La 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 They started to dance and to prance. They had a lovely dance and they really enjoyed it. The other animals were like, I don't want to dance. So the cockroach and the spider decided to go racing in these racing cars they found. How, and Dominique's dog was happily watching them. La, 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 la. When the spider. Went Josh's cockroach in McKay's car. Oh, it was such an amazing race. And the cockroach won. The racing cars went so fast that they bumped into the table and the cake fell in the garbage bin. Oh no! Look at that. And Bonnie did the cake and Josh did the cockroach and Aiden did. Not only did Aiden do that amazing spider, but he drew the car and the spider in it at the same time. Hi Aiden, wherever you are. I know you've gone to big school now. Oh no! Said the monkey, who'd also come with the other animals. I wanted to eat that cake. So monkey went and got it out of the bin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise you to go and get cake out of the bin and eat it. This is just a make-believe book. People don't really eat cakes out of bins. Well, not often anyway. And Aiden drew a monkey and some spare heads for the monkey in case his head fell off. And there's the cake falling in the bin. And the monkey going, I wanted to eat that cake. Then all the animals decided to eat the cake anyway. Then they felt happy. And Isabel drew a bird, Dominic drew a monkey, Aaron drew a lion, Caleb drew a spider, Sophie drew a snake, and Sophie also drew a blue elephant. Da -da -da, da -da -da. What an amazing book they wrote. And then they said, I said, what happened next? And one of the children said, that's it. So it was the end. And Isabel drew a lion and Bonnie drew a dog and Maggie, or cat, sorry. And Bonnie drew a rainbow dog to say, bye bye everybody. It's been great. We love telling you our stories that came from our heads. In our imaginations, we didn't read it in a book. We made it up and we told it to Mama Sa and she wrote it down and it was amazing and we had so much fun. I'd love to do that with all of you sometime. So I'm going to be putting on my how to draw books and down the track a bit I'm going to see how I can do online how to make a story because it's so much fun to do with your mum and dad or your caretakers or your grandma and grandpa or aunties and uncles or just anyone really who you're friends with who likes to have fun. Because making stories and listening to stories is so much fun and a great way to have a holiday just inside your head. Lots of love. Hope you sleep well. All my love and kisses and good wishes. Mama Sarah.